welcome to Earth Road Tarot. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a love reading for my wonderful Libras. This is for Libra and Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. This is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Libra out there. But I do hope that it resonates for you. You find it useful, enjoyable, helpful. And I would say take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. And this is a timeless reading, so it's for whenever you come across it. So my lovely Libras, I'm going to start by getting some messages. We'll see what's coming through for you. What do we need to know for you regarding love? And then we'll go into a spread and uh, asking specific questions about you and the person who comes through for you in this love reading. So, so for Libra, please, what messages have you got? My Libras. Okay. Okay. First out, we've got the Strength card, the Two of Cups, nice. Hmm, Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, let's get one more for Libra. Notice. And the Eight of Cups, okay with the star card at the bottom of the deck. So we've got Leo and Aquarius energy here. Um, but Libra, let's see what's going on. So there's, oh, I'm going to have to get some clarification. I want to be honest, because in these starting messages, I get the sense that someone has had to be very strong about a what they felt was a soulmate connection. They may have um, felt like they needed to leave this in the past or walk away from it, but they may have been hopeful that it would come back together when the timing was right. It's almost like someone has been strong emotionally, knowing to kind of leave this up to the universe, that if these two people were meant to be together, they would come back together, you know, when the time... It could be like someone who was like, the timing just wasn't right for us, you know, I had to walk away from this because it wasn't emotionally fulfilling, but, you know, I have faith in... You know, this person is still in my thoughts. Um, I have faith that there is still a chance we could come back together again in the future. Now, what is glaring at me is the Page of Swords in reverse, which is is like an energy of basically someone being dishonest, lying. And that could have been why some the, someone here decided to walk away, because they were like, I'm not getting the full story. I don't feel like I can completely trust what this person is telling me. They've got other stuff going on that I don't know about. And it, it kind of, that gave an energy of feeling defeated. So it was like, there's actually strength here in letting this uh, go and le letting it, giving it up to the universe, basically. Let's see. Why is the strength card here for Libra, please? Why the strength card? Thank you. Justice. Give me one more, please. Tell me about justice. The nine of wands. So there was, um, it felt like a struggle trying to maybe for this to work out in someone's favor. Whoever had to like really muster up their strength to maybe even to get through this, to come out the other side, um, they felt for a while like they didn't want to give up on it, but they felt like they were fighting for it. And it was almost like trying to fight against the tides to make something work out. Um, tell me about that Nine of Wands and the Justice card. Give me one more, please. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. It was like they felt like this, they couldn't get this person to... Um, open up or to express how they felt about the other person like they couldn't they they tried for a long time to get through or to break through someone's defenses for the other person to actually open up and tell them how they felt about them but they realized that it was very imbalanced of how much they were trying to make this work and how much the other person was almost fighting them about it. So, it, and it had turned into a burden, basically trying to like fight for this. Why is the um, two of cups here, please, for Libra? 
the five of cups yeah that so the four of wands at the bottom of the deck like i said this was someone that um whoever had to you know find this inner strength considered you know could be the one could be their soulmate could be someone they could see themselves marrying having a family with like they saw so much potential for the future with this person they felt like they had found their person like they connected on head and heart level and there's some it was so disappointing to let go of it um why is the page right why is this page of swords in reverse i need to know what this is about did they find maybe this person found out the other person had been lying to them like why is this page of swords here yeah <laughs> oh jesus the ace of swords yeah they okay bottom of the deck three of wands that's interesting because i was just saying maybe they found out this person was had been lying and then we have the ace of swords which is a truth it now it may have just been that this person found out or realized that these two people, as much as they felt like they, this person was their soulmate or the one, they felt like they, they realized that this person had a much different view of what their future or what they wanted their future to look like than they did. Like they had they, two people who it's like they had a realization that they wanted very different things and whether that was the one person wanted the family, the marriage, etc., and the other person just didn't want that kind of life. They wanted to, you know, maybe be alone or to just go on adventures or, you know, keep things in when it came to love, like not committal, uncommittal kind of thing. Now, with this page of swords in reverse, I get the sense that it wasn't so much a deception. It wasn't like this person lied outright being like oh i want to i want marriage and family with you for example and then they found out this person was lying it was almost like they never said that but they allowed the other person to believe that that they were on the same page if that makes sense it was almost like a lie of a mission or like this person wasn't was you know saying things in a light-hearted manner um, so that they didn't give the other person the full story. That's what I mean by live omission. Oh, like, not like, you know, just like leaving certain key things out of the information they were giving. And it's like this person, whatever it was, they found out, they realized, they understood the truth. And it was like, this is not going to work out for what I see for my future. Um, anything else about the Ace of Swords? Anything else about the Ace of Swords? Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, with the devil at the bottom of the deck. It's like this person, this could be you here, Libra, who had to be strong, um, realised that what they were imagining was kind of like a fantasy. And because this person wasn't actually saying what they thought that they were saying, does that make sense? It's kind of like... It was like this this dream that I got of the you know the marriage, the children, the family, like growing old together. Like this is the one. It was like suddenly it was this beautiful dream that just came to like it's almost like a bubble that burst with this realization. And it was, I feel like this person realized that if anything, it was just someone that was holding them back because with this devil because they wanted it so much, but they wanted something that was never actually going to materialize into what they thought they hoped it would. And in fact, still trying to hold on to it was just holding them back from finding the the person who did want all of those things with them and was actually their, their soulmate, their one. Not that, I mean, I think we can have multiple soulmates, but the one that they could spend the rest of their life with. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. Okay, so immediately the Knight of Wands came out and the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Now it's interesting because this is like the Wheel of Fortune oh, it talks about divine timing, but it can also turn up, talk about the wheel turning. And, you know, if, if you were going through cycles with this person, for example, of like, it seems to be going somewhere and then you realise it's not and you try and move on. Oh, and then it seems to be going somewhere, etc. 
it's if that is the case for you then that would suggest that this person's coming back around re-entering the picture with this knight of wands energy um now it's interesting because they could be re-entering the picture talking about long term this time with the ten of pentacles talking about i was literally just saying marriage and children then we have the ten of pentacles uh tell me about this knight of wands tell me about this knight of wands yeah this is the person that basically was what that walked away from because it what it was a burden <laughs> because they wouldn't make a decision maybe they didn't want to commit and that when you realize that it really it was very hurtful it made them like cause some heartbreak to actually accept that tell me about this knight of wands how how are they coming in now i was going to say yeah judgment five of pentacles um this is someone who's coming back around, Libra. This is this person who I was just describing, um, who you basically you realised was a burden because maybe you even felt like you had been in denial about um, this situation, about the the reality of the situation. You had this realisation that you had to walk away from this, like this was just weighing you down, holding you back. That they did not open up their heart or open up their home if you like to you open up their future open up their life really you know it's keeping you at arm's length and now they're coming back with the judgment card they're coming back around <laughs> why is the eight of cups here please for libra interesting nine of swords in reverse tell me about that Oh, ten, ten of swords. Wow. It's funny because I feel like this is you. Like this, you you did leave this in your past and you've got to the point where you're no longer stressed about it and kind of accepted that it's over. Because I, I feel this from the Ace of Swords as well. Like it was pr probably pretty crushing, probably pretty upsetting to accept and difficult. But you have actually come out of that um, worry and... Uh, anxiousness and overthinking about this and uh, like whether you're doing the right thing by walking away you got out of that and you actually accepted that it's it the ending <laughs> ten of pentacles i mean it's just essentially repeating i feel yeah two exactly two of swords ten of pentacles you accepted you got out of your head and you had this kind of almost peaceful eventually realization that this was you accept this ending because they didn't want the same thing you did, which is they were closed off. There was no, they, the whole, the road to the Ten of Pentacles with this person was blocked. They were not opening up their life to you in that way. And it was like, once you realized that this wasn't actually on the cards, this wasn't an option with this person, you were like, well, okay, I can accept this is over now. Um, okay, so that's that's where we're at. Let's go into the spread and see what comes through there for you. So in the spread, I'm going to be asking six questions about you and the person who's coming through in this reading. Bear in mind what I'm saying, this is how you feel, this is how they feel. If it's resonating for you more the other way around, just let me know. Oh, sorry, not let me know. Sorry, I'm like looking at the camera at the same time doing let me know, yeah. No, how are you going to do that? Just quick, send me a quick text. No, just um, flip it is what I was going to say. Sorry, brain fart. Okay, can I get the top six cards for Libra, please? Top six cards for Libra and person who's coming through in this reading. Strong Virgo energy here. Doesn't have to be a Virgo. Okay. I like that there. Oh, I don't like that there. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. At the bottom of this deck, we have the, wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot card. And I say it like that because the first card that came out, Libra, was the King of Pentacles. So now we, 
we have the queen at the bottom of the deck. Um, interesting. Uh, honestly, I'm. this is an energy of someone rushing towards you wanting now to put work and effort into this about a, a more of like a long term with a long term viewpoint, let's just say, because the king queen of pentacles are the long term committed couple. They queen of pentacles is the wife material card of the tarot. She is someone who you commit to like you don't fuck around with the queen of pentacles because if you do she's not going to stick around and then you're going to realize that you missed out on basically a mini empress so this is someone who demands and deserves uh, you know the the effort the commitment so and it's it's basically an energy rushing in saying that they view their person as or not you know literally saying i but trying to show them through their actions that they now consider them, you know, wife material, commitment material, and that's what they want as well. And then trying to prove that, if you like, by through their actions, through their efforts. I feel like when this comes in, there's going to be a need of like balancing of emotions, having patience, like not making a decision too quickly because a decision could be made to kind of and I forget this, I've been disappointed by you before, it's going to happen all over again. So there's going to be a need to kind of go with the flow and also I feel like see if their actions actually match their words as well. At the bottom of the deck, the sun, the king of cups and the ten of wands. Uh, sorry if it got a bit dark in here it's just started raining outside so the lights got quite dim sorry about that so with this combination it's it's interesting because i yeah i feel like there is going to be a sense of excitement and happiness when this comes in because as i said at the very beginning i did still get this feeling that someone was was strong but they still had hope that if they were supposed to be with this person and they would you know they would the universe would orchestrate it as such that they would come back together so it's going to feel like this almost this joy and extreme happiness that this is actually coming back together as someone had hoped because someone has still has a lot of love even if they have a lot of love but respectfully respect for themselves as well you can still have a lot of love for the other person um so i feel that that is the case but but it's like is this going to be yet again, is this going to turn out as a burden on me? Like, am I going to get left out? Um, am I going to get left out in the cold again by this person out of the cold of their life? And is it just going to put me back at square one is kind of what I'm getting as well. But it is, I do feel like someone's has kept their feelings to themselves. Potentially this person who didn't want to open up in that way in the past they may have had or very much cared for this Queen of Pentacles, but they they kept that to themselves. They didn't open up. I did get the sense that this Queen of Pentacles character in the first cards was the one who was, um, you know, try, trying to persist to get this person to even sh open up and even express, like, just tell them how they felt about them. And I feel like this person did f have feelings, but they kept it all wrapped up inside them and it almost became too much to actually keep it to themselves especially once this person walked away so let me get the next layer so can i clarify for libra please top six cards and thank you so much for just hitting that like button for me it just takes a second it means the world because it actually helps people to see these videos and uh, it just means the world to me as well because obviously i, I channel and um, means a lot to me and um, thank you for subscribing as well if you haven't already and thank you for everyone who supports the channel you're you guys are amazing i really appreciate you so can i just get the top six cards to clarify the spread please for libra all right mm -hmm. Oof. okay nice Okay, cool. Interesting. All right. At the bottom of this deck, we have the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands, 
Queen of Pentacles is there again, just underneath. Okay, so <laughs> I, what I get the sense here is that someone wants to have a, uh, this is your energy here to be fair with the King of Swords, Libra, but um, regardless, someone wants to have a conversation with you. They want to reopen lines of communication with you. And it's, they might want to, it's almost like they may feel that they need to put on like a tough exterior and say something to you in a way that makes them seem more powerful uh, or that they hold the like the the power in the situation and it's because they feel like you are going to um you're now going to be the one who will have them at arm's length so they're trying to come in to have this conversation with you but from a position of uh strength they don't want to they feel like they don't want to show any weakness because they need to come to you very confidently or very um yeah, so because they feel like now it's going to be quite close to get, it's going to be quite, sorry, quite difficult to get close to you again at first. Um, they also feel like you are someone who has kind of shown them that you know their wor your worth. So as a result, they are trying to pick their words very carefully so that you actually allow them in back into your, to communicate with them again. At the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I feel like there is a concern here that you're going to be very hesitant, understandably, about grasping this opportunity for a new beginning with this person again, because you're going to feel like you can't necessarily trust your like first appearances with this person uh, anymore you may feel more like you need to hold back again on getting the same message and see if their act like what they're saying actually materializes into actions like actions speak louder than words and you now you're like you can't just trust their what they're initially showing you because i feel like you understand that this person will just not say things as it suits, as it's convenient to kind of get what they want out of a situation or to be successful in a situation. Um, not that I think they're some awful Machiavellian mastermind, but it's just that I'm getting this energy of that they pick and choose what they say to the person that they're speaking to, as obviously most people do, and they um, pick and choose what they leave out of telling someone um, to come across in a certain way to whoever they're speaking to, to kind of yeah, so it's kind of almost like they present themselves in the way that they think that the person they're talking to wants them to look like, uh, which is, it's almost like an insecurity thing because they're not showing them their true self and just like seeing if that's accepted or not and going from there. But they're trying to always present themselves how they think that person wants them to be. And as a result, I feel like you're more aware of this now. And so you want to see them actually uh, see whether this actually grows this time. Um, if they have made any like any progress within in themselves since you you last, you know, since they were last came back around kind of thing. Like, has anything changed? Have they um, learned anything is kind of what I'm getting. So gonna get your third layer so can i clarify the spread one more time for libra please with the top six cards so the top six cards for libra please Wow. The death card is clarifying the death card on top of each other from two different decks. That's, I mean, this just happened in the last reading I did, obviously with different cards, but 
the chances of that happening is so infinitesimal, like that, that it has to be in exactly the same place when I finish shuffling. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> I just, it's just wild when that happens. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands twice on the spread. All right, let's see what's going on. The bottom of this deck, we have the Sun, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups. Yep, yep. So <laughs> I feel like you were dealing with or could still be dealing with Libra, someone who is very much about um, enjoying themselves. I think I said at the beginning, it was like someone who just wants to go on adventures. It, they want to be solo. If it's, when it comes to love, they want, want to keep things quite casual. It's like they are the main event <laughs> in their own life, which of course that's fine. I don't mean it like that, but like, it's all about them. They are a lone wanderer, uh, you know, like a, someone that people write fables about, but they, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like they write fables about this person and their, you know, happy marriage. No, it's all about that one lone warrior, you know, male or female. I'm just saying like warrior male because it's this guy on the sun card, but it's just someone who's a, you know, goes on adventures, is, it's all about them, they are the main character, as, as the kids might say, and, you know, they keep casual acquaintance, they keep casual relationships, because it's all about them at the end of the day, and they are more focused on their own stuff, they get bored quite easily of maybe even the same partner, as in they want to just keep meeting new people, it's almost like this person is a, is a little bit, how can I put this delicately? Um, it's like a little bit superficial, uh, to put it in a nice way, a little bit immature, because it's kind of like, there. it's like the initial interaction with someone new is of interest, and then they get bored of them, like, a, like it's, they want a new toy. It's like a child who gets the, the, thing at Christmas that they've wanted all year and then they play with it for six seconds and then they're like okay when's the next when's the next toy arriving is that rather than uh, because it's it's just immaterial to this person it's like it's just things to enjoy like to entertain them it's not they're not they haven't been seeing the full potential of of the other energies or people that they've come across if that makes sense um and it's someone that in that energy or in that place in their life or part or life path it just didn't want to make a choice to go towards one person and fully go down it and fully invest and, and maybe this was even someone who had become completely apathetic about love and relationships already and that's why they they kept things very casual they didn't want to open themselves up to really choosing one person and going for it at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Swords. Okay, the Six of Cups, yeah. <laughs> I feel like what we've got here is that, again, it's a, I, the Eight of Cups came out immediately after the Wheel of Fortune, the very first deck, just randomly from the deck. So this is the, now they're next to each other, half an hour later from a different deck. So <laughs> this, is, this is the same message coming out. Someone who you walked away from, or maybe they were also perfectly fine to walk away from you. Maybe it was a mutual thing because, you know, the, the emotion, emotional fulfillment wasn't there. Things are about to change in that connection. This person's coming back around. I feel like this King of Swords is talking, well, it's King of Swords again for a start. So it could be dealing with someone who has air in their chart. It doesn't have to be another air sign. But it's a combination of that you walked away from this person because they were just fighting you off. They had their guard up. They were extremely defensive about letting you or anyone into their, um, into their life to serious, in a serious way um, is one aspect. But also this person is going to come back around and not really give up trying to get back in to a good place with you. Like they, they might want to, they might try reminiscing with you about things that happened between the two of you in the past, like bringing up nice memories um, as a way to try and get you to start putting work and effort into this with them again. So let's go through the spread, Libra. How are you feeling about them? We've got the King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. So as I already said, it's Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But essentially, this is telling me that you feel like there was 
there was potential with this person for long term. That's how you always viewed them, like someone you could actually, you felt like you could be with, settle down with, have a family with. Um, but you, as essentially you feel that there was an element here about this person that couldn't be trusted. Maybe they, it's almost like this, this five of wands is like this double headed snake. So it's almost like you could have felt like they were a little bit, they were deceptive, um, or a little bit two faced even. Maybe this is a Gemini. <laughs> I'm just I'm just joking, Gemini's. It's just a cliche about it. Um, but you may anyway, you felt like you were left disappointed. Like this whole situation, if you think about it too much, maybe it just makes you feel sad and remorseful that it didn't work out, that you felt like there was so much potential here, but you felt like things got um tied up. Uh, in knots of maybe someone's dishonesty or maybe there were other parties putting their two cents in there were there was too much conflict for this to just flow and as I said at the beginning it was like you were fighting for this and constantly coming up against roadblocks and at the end of the day you still feel as I said that you still feel there's a connection between the two of you but um there's been a lot of water under the bridge at this point and you feel like it just makes you sad that this didn't work out because there was so much potential. Now, how they're feeling about you, we have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. It, this is an interesting combination because this is like they feel like there's been an ending between the two of you. Now, it could have been because there was a very blunt conversation that happened or blunt um, someone said outright you know i want to be married i want to have family I, I, I want to have family i want to have a family i want to be married you know this kind of thing and um the someone very bluntly was like that's not what i want that's not what i see for my future i don't want like you know there was this kind of energy if someone was really put them their wishes and their desires in a very blunt manner and as a result of that it came to an end like it the situation ended um it i feel like the funny thing is i'm also getting here is that they also feel like you are someone that they could see long term with like this four of wands card is also giving me the fact that they feel like they could have had um if they were going to settle down with anyone, it would be you, Libra. But they feel like at currently it's over and it's almost like maybe they feel like they need to rush in and say something because they're starting to acknowledge the fact that you were all like you were their queen of pentacles, basically, as I said before. Um, and they need to it's like they feel like they need to act fast or this truly is going to be dead done and so, like, do not resuscitate, basically. How they are seeing you is the Hermit, the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So very interesting with the progression of the Eight and the Nine of Cups there. But the other thing is that, interestingly, in the traditional Rider Waite, the character on the Eight of Cups walks away. He's walking off into the mountains to become the Hermit. So it's all here. It's all connecting. It's what I feel like is that they've seen through like a time apart from you that you actually embody their wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups card. There's, again, we've just had this card about marriage, about their, how they're feeling about you, and they're seeing you as someone that they could have, it's a very creepy child on this Nine of Cups card, creepy, but they're seeing you as someone that they could have children with, that they could have all of their wishes and desires and feel extremely contented and happy with you. That's how they're seeing you. But it's like they see that they have been emotionally distant from the person that they could have had all of that with. It's it is a bit of like a realisation inside themselves with this Hermit card. It's inner reflection that's given them this realisation. I don't even want to say realisation because I'm not getting the sense this is like... In some readings, I would get the sense that someone has just had that like moment of epiphany, a moment of epiphany and like smack on the head kind of realisation. But this is more like just 
maybe something they've always known and they just chose to um still not they chose not to open up because that wasn't the life that they it's almost like someone who had chosen a long time ago to always be on them on their own and then they came across you and they they've been aware for some time that you were everything they could possibly wish for but they're they're also aware that they still they emotionally distance themselves from that so but this is how they're seeing you as well so there's that but they're also seeing that now you are emotionally distant from them like you're doing your own thing you're off on your own journey you're not reachable is that that's how they're seeing you right now that their the wish fulfillment that they pushed away is funnily enough it's now not reachable because they pushed it away so it's like it's both of that now their current situation when i saw the death card once i was like fantastic because when i saw that knight of wands coming back around at the beginning i was like is this just going to be another repeating cycle for libra and i was like i really wanted the death card to come out and clarify it and of course it didn't at the time but it's here twice now to make up for it so their current situation death ace of swords and the death card again and even look at this ace of swords it is the only Ace of Swords card of all my decks that looks like this, with the sword pointing down into a skeleton, in represent rep representing death. It is it might as well be death three times. It is just clear here that this person's current situation is they are going through a massive transformation and an ending of their previous self. It is like letting. I feel like it's a. a an ending to an identity that they gave themselves is what I want to say is that has, I mean, you could easily say ego death here with all of this, but it could be, but I, I would just, I mean, quite simply, it is a death of how this person had decided they were going to be. And it's that they are actually allowing, it's like, you know, it's a snake shedding its skin. It's, it is rebirth massively. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. You could like, they are, I mean, they are having realizations with that Ace of Swords card. They are, and not just that, but they're accepting the knowledge that has been with inside them the whole time. They are, I feel like they're finally allowing themselves to listen to what they've known, like what has the knowledge has been inside them the whole time. It's not like they've just found something out. The knowledge has been there. They didn't want to look at it fully because that would have meant change. That would have meant letting maybe even the identity that had almost created like a security blanket for them. They would have had to let that go. They would have had to go into the unknown. They would have had to change and this person is not just that they're going through change, but they are accepting of it. It's like this person is like, that's, that's not me anymore. I'm ready. That's what I'm getting from this person's current situation. It's amazing, Libra. So the action that, uh, uh, the, the sun's come out here, by the way. I said it was raining earlier and got really dark. And that is, <laughs> I wish I could show you on my camera, but there is a massive rainbow outside my window right now, which is, ridiculous timing what i was just talking about rebirth but anyway sun's come back out it's a good sign so the action that they're going most likely going to take towards you next libra we've got the queen of wands the ten of cups the ten of wands it's interesting because we've got two tens here there is um there's a one chapter closing and i feel like it's a one chapter is coming to a close for the sake of being able to have a chapter of, finally, of happiness, of, of it's not just a, a story any longer of this hero on their own. It's actually a, now it's a story of the hero with their heroine or, you know, their partner. They're, um, the, the two of them being stronger together. Now, the thing is, I still feel like this is going to be um, a potentially still an uncomfortable transition for this person. With this Queen of Wands card, funnily enough, she's giving me quite Leo energy here, like, some, like with the Sun. I was just talking about the Sun card. 
I mean, this Queen of Wands is telling me this person still has, um, is going to be struggling a little bit. Pretend, like, not in a way that will necessarily hinder this connection, but just to make you aware, there's going to be like a teething period, I feel like a, a, a difficult transitional, you know, changing of the sands kind of feeling where this person is going to want to still feel like they are the main event with that Queen of Wands, like they want to still feel like it's all about them, there's still a little bit of ego coming through here that... And this is the action they're taking towards you. So it's they are going to be making moves to change their whole identity into one that is about them and you together, which is going to... I cannot stress what a major deal for this person this is from what I'm getting from these cards. But I'm just saying that through this um, this change is going to be... Obviously, because change is always a little bit uncomfortable, realistically... It is, I mean, our brains are just wired to release, you know, happy hormones by doing the same fucking thing every day. So if you you start changing that up, of course, it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, even if the, the, the new thing is better than the past thing, you know, it's just not how our brains are wired. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of push-pull. I feel there's going to be a need for this person to learn to compromise, um, to, yeah for it to not be all about them, but I feel like there is going to be progress in that direction. And this person actually even softening, I'm, I'm getting a sense of um, letting their guard down a little bit and um, allowing the change to happen and to be more focused on the, the happiness is gonna be worth all of this, like initial discomfort. So what's going to be happening between you and this person going forward, Libra, I'd say the next 30 days, next month from when you come across this reading, we've got the moon, the emperor and the queen of wands again. So strong fire energy. We've got, now got Aries here as well, but could be dealing with someone with fire in their chart. Um, don't have to be, but it's interesting. I feel like uh, it could be both of you, to be fair, who are going to be... Um, potentially a little bit there could be a little bit of a power struggle is kind of what I'm getting because and it's going to be because of not being completely sure if you can trust this person which is understandable given what you've experienced from them in the past but there is a little bit of uncertainty of what you're getting yourself into this time around is there going to be anything hidden is this person still concealing you know other um people that they're also you know, dealing with. It's just a little bit a concern for the unknown is what I'm getting. And, but there is with this emperor, this is one of the strongest emperors in, in these decks that could have come out. This is someone who's very focused on providing for their empress, for um, being reliable, being stable and being, it, it's interesting because it, in this deck, it's like this kind of, um, Norse warrior kind of energy and it's funny because I was talking about I didn't even notice that what I was talking about uh this sun card being like this warrior that people you know fab talk write fables about kind of like a, a James Bond kind of character like all the stories but it's just he's just James Bond on his own you know he had a wife she lasted about five seconds in one of the movies um but it's all about this one main character and it's interesting because this here we see an emperor who's still has those has those desires for adventure for accomplishment but he's now doing it for the sake of him himself i'm saying him because it's the emperor it could be a woman um it's doing it for themselves and also doing it for the sake of like their clan their family their partner so it is a shift here but there is just going to be a little bit of uncertainty that may cause maybe you libra or maybe both to act a little bit still with some pretense with the queen of wands like a little bit uh, the queen of wands is kind of like well you better chase me you know you better do you know who i am kind of there's a little bit of ego going on here but i think it's ego out of fear of the unknown and fear of whether to trust this person is causing someone's ego to flare up and 
that's maybe and you know that could be almost a little bit defensive so that might just be something you want to take from the reading or you know just to bear in mind because there is transformation massive transformation happening with this person coming back around um for whoever this is resonating for they are entering into the next like a whole new I, part i can't even say chapter it's just not enough it's like completely going through a massive transformation and even that, like it's just that there's an energy here of can you trust it am i gonna get is it is uh, it's what i'm getting here is you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice fool me five times definitely shame on me it's that's someone's kind of now coming in with this guard up because they don't want to be fooled again um but there is potential here i feel like there's just going to be a um maybe an uncomfortable transitional phase but massive potential for happiness so that's what i've got for you libra i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching please do hit the like button for me it just takes a second and it means the world and it just helps that the video actually gets seen by people. And thank you for subscribing if you haven't already. I wish you all my best. I'll speak to you soon, Libra. Bye.